So our practice this evening is going to be bend and twist for a healthy spine. So we're going to engage in a lot of uh, gentle twisting of the spine. You may or may not be hearing some of my uh, background noises. We've got airplanes and lawnmowers and dog barking, but anyways, I'm hoping you're able to hear my voice over that. The um, audio is meant to try and keep um, my voice uh, prominent in, in it, so hopefully that's working. All right, let's begin on our backs with a little breathing exercise. Always helpful to settle ourselves down, right? So settle yourself into a reclined position. You can have your knees up if you'd like to. Most important is to feel the weight of your body coming down to the earth. And you might notice my hands, I'm going to use them for a mantra. We'll just bring our fingers together. Uh, we're going to say on the inhale, Samataha, as you touch your thumb to each of the fingers. And then on the exhale, you let your hand open and say Om. So uh, the inhale part ends up being pretty silent because it's hard to make much noise when you're inhaling. And then the exhale is an Om, and it's more or less a slow Ujjayi breath. So do your best to kind of follow along for yourself trying to relax the vocal cords and let that om happen. Samataha om. Letting that exhale be a little bit long. Samataha om. Letting the silence happen, finding your breath. Let the inhales be a little fuller, and the exhales a little longer. You might narrow the throat or the lips and slowly blow it out. Letting the body grow heavy with the exhale. No matter how wild, crazy, or wonderful the moments prior in your day have been, just coming now to this moment and appreciating a slowing of the pace, a heaviness in the body, feeling the weight of your body resting on the earth. bringing your attention over your heart and just checking on the inner weather that emotional body how am i doing this evening really sensing into your physical body and whatever you're finding bring in a gentle kindness to that A whisper of care. You're going to work with your experience. Beginning to find just a little movement in the body. Draw your left knee in towards the chest. Make some circles with that left knee. And then gently switching directions. Pick your hands up the back of that leg. A little stretch of the hamstring circles with the ankle. And releasing that foot down and bring the other knee in. Circles with the knee to bring a little attention to the hip. Switching direction. 
then walk your hands up the back of that leg for a little hamstring stretch on that side. Bring your knees into tabletop, arms out into cactus. Drop both knees off to the left. Exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale the other way. One more time each direction. And then when you come back up to center, put your hands behind your thighs. Push your feet away and see if you can rock up. Otherwise, you can also always come over to one side and come up to a seated posture. You can sit on a block like I am doing or fold your feet in front of you, whichever one works better for you. Feel that tallness in your spine and take your gaze over to your right shoulder. As your uh, nose comes over towards that shoulder, reach the left hand away. And you're kind of s uh, stretching the side of the neck here just a little bit, sweeping the hand either in a circle or an arc. And lengthen up tall through the spine and take it to the other side and reach your right arm away making a little circle with it or an arc lengthen up in the center inhale bring those hands up to the side exhale to the heart inhale scoop it up and let your thumbs be back I think of myself like drawing a giant heart here. Exhale, bring it right into your heart. One more. And home. Press the hands out into a T. Drop your right hand to the mat, sweeping over. Begin to feel that stretch in the side of the ribs. Fill the ribs up and deepen that side bend. Love to have mobility in our spine, sweeping on over. Gives us a lot of freedom. Press that hand into the mat, breathe into the ribs, and sink a little further into your side bend. Inhale, both hands reach for the sky. Exhale, take a twist off to the right. Inhale for the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach, and twist right. Staying in the twist here, soften. Inhale, exhale, deepen the twist. Sink that navel in. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. Inhale, soften a bit. Exhale, sink that navel in as you twist a little more. Very nice. Come on into center. Feel how that body is responding. One of my favorite things in uh, my yoga teacher training was learning to listen to the body and respond to that. It was such a beautiful lesson, and I hope to share that with you. Keep listening to your body as you work with your experience. We're coming over onto our hands and knees, taking a little cat cow posture working and warming up our spine. Inhale as the chest comes forward, the heart. Exhale, arch the back up. And you can do as many of that undulation that as you would like. You can also tip the hips a little bit left and right so that you stretch out the side of the spine a bit. And then let's come to a um, position of table. Hands underneath the shoulders, hips underneath the knees. And then kick your right heel back. We're going to balance that table. Left thumb up. Feel your strength. Bring your abdominal muscles in. Lift a little through the thumb and the heel. Exhale, knee to elbow. Arch it up. Inhale out. Exhale in, reach, and scoop in, reach it out, bring the hand down, bend the knee, and ankle, donkey kicks, five, four, three, 
two. And one more. Bring it to the mat. Cleansing breath. We'll take these moves to the other side, pushing the left heel back, the right thumb to the sky. Lengthen out. Big inhale and lift. Exhale. Knee to elbow. Inhale out. Exhale. Arch the back. Inhale out. And arch. Reach it out. Bring the hand down. Bend the knee and the ankle. Donkey kicks for five, four, squeeze that glute, three, two, and one more. Bring that knee to the mat. Cleansing breath. Walk your hands forward and lower yourself down in for a cobra. Bring your hands underneath your shoulder points. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. Inhale, roll the heart up. Exhale, soften. Use that back body. Inhale, roll it up. And soften. Now take it over the shoulder. Inhale, rolling your gaze over your right shoulder, pointing through your right toes. And soften. Inhale over the left shoulder. Point through the toe. And soften. Center, and soften, center, and soften. We're gonna come over onto our side. So roll over to the side so you can take a gander at me and bend your bottom knee. And then we're going to do some hip hikers. So kick your top heel back, keeping the ankle flexed, and then zip it up the wall. Okay, and you can plant your hand right here in front of you, and you can also put your knee, sorry, your ear on your bicep, okay? I don't know why I thought that was the knee. <laughs> Bring your heel back and zip it up. Zip it up. Give a little exhale with that. There we go. Couple more. Let yourself get just a tiny bit of fatigue in that. But that glute is squeezed and that heel is coming up. One more. And releasing. Bring that front foot forward. We're going to come into a side plank here. Now we've heard of extended leg side plank before, but this time we're going to take it on the elbow. But if this side plank is not working for you, please take one of the alterations we've worked on in other classes, okay? So the elbow is underneath the shoulder. I'm going to press that forearm into the mat. Let's split the legs nice so this top leg is right in line with your spine and the front leg is out supporting you. Plant your hand here to get a little boost to get the hip up and count for five breaths. Two more. Nice job, let it down. Okay, and now we'll take those moves on the other side, okay? So first coming down onto your side body and we'll do our hip hikers. Bend the bottom knee to give a little bit of support. Try and lengthen out the spine. Through that heel, kick it back and zip it up. Exhale it up. You can use this hand out in front of you for a little support. And you can also, of course, Bring your head down onto your bicep if that helps you uh, accomplish this hip hiker a little more. Couple more. Let it get worked out. There we go. Now let's come into our side plank. So in the side plank, remember elbow underneath the shoulder. So you have a good line of energy there. Forearm firmly in the mat. Lengthen out through that top leg. Kick the bottom leg out in front of you and then use your hand to boost the hips up. Five, four, three, two, one more. And release. Okay, roll over onto your tummy. Press the hands underneath the shoulder points as you walk yourself back towards your knees. Time to stretch out our feet and our hands just a little bit. So sit up on your heels for a minute, get a good stretch there, and then the forearm stretch. So put your hands right on the base of the fingers, pull them back as you push through the wrist. Get a good stretch there. Exhale. 
switch to the other side. This can help our hands feel so much better when we've been on the keyboard or uh, working with our phones and texting. So circles with the wrist, and then make a little fist and open up into sunshine fingers. One more time, fist, sunshine fingers. Okay, come off the toes, untuck the toes, and then lift the front of the hips for a bit of a shin stretch. And then plant your hands, tuck the toes, and push into the hands as you rock back on your heels, letting the soles stretch a bit. Bring yourself up into a squat and slowly lengthen up into your forward fold. Let the head hang a moment, nodding yes, and side to side. Inhale for a half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, squeeze the glutes as you lift up, heart up, and release. Okay, we're moving right through our practice, our warm up, and we're into balance. So come to the top of your mat, and we're going to take the step back lunge for balance, okay? So bring all the weight to one side of the foot. You'll step back with the other, and then we're going to drop the knee, put the weight in the heel, and step forward, okay? So feel your mountain first. Hold a drishti point, a focus point that helps you really see where you're going and keep your balance. And then step back into your lunge, drop the knee, and now put that weight into that front heel. Really push into it as you bring yourself back to mountain. Great for work for the glute. We'll do this five times. Three more. Two more. One more. And I should have mentioned, you can also do uh, your hand on a chair or, some, or a side of a table to help increase your balance, any of these balance poses. It's always good to have a little support if you're having a wobbly moment, which I've definitely had, but it seems like I'm pretty steady tonight. All right, let's go and do this on the other side, all the weight in that, that side of the body. Hold your focus point. Come on back, drop the knee. Weight in that front heel, come back to standing. Inhale back to crescent, push it out. And three more, two more, one more. Coming to your mountain, good job. Okay, now let's move into a little bit of flow. Finding yourself at the top of your mat, I'm just gonna grab a little sip of water. Bring yourself to the top of your mat, finding your mountain posture. Take a nice big breath in, slowing down again. Trying to pace your yoga with a peaceful presence in mind. Inhale, raising your arms up. Exhale, we'll take a fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back on the right for our low lunge. Let your hips sink forward in that modified warrior one. Opening the front of the right hip. Exhale, frame the foot. Draw that left hip back with the toes hamstring stretch and then bring it forward we're going to do a little bit of that resistance stretching so really pushing that back shin into the mat and the front heel drawing it back so you really open up the front of the right hip sink the hips towards that heel when you're ready plant your hands tuck your back toes Step your left foot back to meet your right. And take your flow, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Sweep that right foot up. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Exhale, bring the right knee down behind the right wrist. We're coming into our pigeon. 
Slide that shin forward for a little more of a direct stretch in the outer right hip. Keep the ankle flexed and sense, bring your attention right into that hip. What's working? Take those tiny little movements to help you get a good stretch there. Big breaths always help with the stretching, letting go. Helps the muscles feel a little more safe. Slide that shin back a little bit. Set your block aside. Tuck the back toes. Return to your three-legged dog and free that right foot. Exhale, step it between the hands. Runner's lunge twist. Stack the shoulders. Bring the hand down. Step to mountain or to your forward fold. Inhale for half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. Heart lifts and release. Okay, let's take those moves on the other side, okay? Mountain. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, low lunge, stepping back on the left. Modified Warrior One, sinking into your hips just a bit. Exhale, frame the foot. Draw that right foot back along with the toes. And as you bring your hips forward, we're going to do that resistive stretching. So think of that, lap, that back shin kicking into the mat, the front heel drawing back. Breathing with it, always using our breath in practice. And then when you're ready, stepping back to your plank. Float in plank for a breath. Bring your knees down, your elbows in, chest and chin. Inhale, roll up the heart for cobra. Exhale, push it to down dog. Left foot sweeps up, stack the hips. Bring the left knee behind the left wrist. Coming into pigeon on this side. Sweep that shin forward a bit. Keep the ankle flexed. And just get that stretch going in the outer hip. Breathing. Feels great to stretch. I should say it feels great for me to stretch. Hopefully it does for you too. Sliding your shin back a bit, frame out your hands. Kick up for three-legged down dog. Exhale, bring that left foot forward between the hands and then stack your shoulders. Dragonfly twists, draw the back kneecap up. Bring the left hand down, step to forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees a bit, nod the head yes, and then side to side. Inhale as you sweep your hands behind you, squeeze your glutes, rising to tall mountain, and release. Very nice. Okay, that was our first Sari Namaskara C series warming up our legs a little bit. I was listening to a podcast about the brain and they were talking about that our biggest pump in our body is not our heart, but it's actually our legs. So moving our legs throughout the day is so important to help keeping our blood and lymphatics flowing. So let's flow a little more. Find yourself on your top of your mat for your mountain. Feel the stacking of the joints, the feet parallel with the long edge of the mat. Take a nice breath in and a slow exhale. Another cleansing breath. Let the hands drift up tall mountain. Exhale, let the back flatten, float it down. 
Inhale for a half lift, pressing on the shins, lengthening out. Exhale, fold. Step back on the left, coming to your runner's lunge. Two lanes of traffic. The left hand stays down. The right hand reaches up, dragonfly twist. I'm going to be enjoying a lot of these twists tonight. As you bring that right hand down, take your focus forward and rise into your crescent lunge. Now we're going to take a twist on crescent lunge. So you can bring the left hand to the knee and twist back. You can also bring the elbow over the knee and twist open or into prayer twist. Find what's working for you and take a breath here. Depends how much your hip can fold. So honor your own experience. Sweep back to crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back for your plank. Take a flow here, bringing your knees down, your elbows in, chest and chin. Inhale, roll the heart up, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Exhale, extended leg side plank. Bring that foot out in front of you. Roll on the inner blade of the right foot and the right hand comes up to the sky. And then return to three-legged down dog. Exhale that foot between the hands. Dragonfly twist. We're just twisting our spine from side to side. Bring the left hand down. Exhale, step into that forward foot. Forward fold. Inhale, a half lift. And fold. Sweep those hands behind you as you rise. And release. A little bit of movement here at the top of your mat. And then we'll take these moves on the other side. Feel your mountain. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Inhale, a half lift. Exhale, step back on the right. Plant that right hand down. Take your dragonfly twist. As the left hand comes down, gaze forward. Rise into your crescent lunge. Coming into a twist with this, lots of options here. You can bring the back knee down if you'd like to. Bring your hand to the knee, sweep the arm back, slide a little deeper into it. Ooh, just lost my balance looking around, huh? So keep your balance as best as you can and come into your twist that's working for you. Three breaths. Returning to crescent lunge. Exhale, bring the hands down. And step back for your plank. Take a flow here. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right foot up. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Exhale, bring that leg under the body, extended side angle, coming to the inner blade of the left foot. Extended leg side plank, sorry. And as you bring your left hand down, returning to a three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Dragonfly twist on this side. Bring the right hand down and step to forward fold. Inhale for a half lift and fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up, tall mountain, and release. All right, how are we doing this evening? We've kind of just chugged right through practice, haven't we? So now we're on to a B, Sari Namaskara B. I always like to include a chair in practice. 
So come to the top of your mat and let's take a few cleansing breaths. Settle your feet in mountain. Feel the weight in your heels. Let the toes spread. And let your feet be parallel with the long edge of the mat. Find your breath here. Long exhale. That ujjayi or victorious breath. Reach the arms a little bit behind you as you soften your hips and knees and come into your chair. Feel the weight in your heels, your arms up alongside your ears, pressing into the heels and pushing them away from each other. And when you're ready, take an exhale and fold. Inhale, a half lift. Exhale, fold and step back for your plank. And now we'll offer Chaturanga, the high to low push up. You don't have to take a flow, but you can. So just kind of lowering down and inhaling up to your up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment in down dog to let your tailbone really rise to the peak of this posture, which might mean you need to soften your knees a little bit. Bring your chest towards your thighs and slowly pedal out the back of the legs. Inhale the left foot up. Exhale, bring it forward between the hands. We're going to use a block here. Bring your block to the inside of that left foot and a little bit over to the right. So your right hand easily lands on that. And take your dragonfly twist on the block. Now I know this is not that challenging for most of us. It helps actually lift you up in this pose and you may feel a certain freedom with that. As you bring your hand down, glance forward and we're rising into our crescent lunge. Now we'll drop the back heel, coming to our warrior one. Option for temple fingers. So bring your good squeeze between your feet, or I should say pushing your feet apart, lifting up through your fingertips, the squeezes in your glutes, really holding those knees, left knee right over the ankle. Use the exhale. One more breath here. And then bring your hands to your hips. Straighten that forward knee. We're going to come to revolve triangle. We don't do this pose that often, but it can be doable, especially using the block. So draw the left knee back, flatten out the back, floating forward, plant that right hand on the block, and then lift the back heel and lift your hand, left hand up. Revolve triangle posture. Usually triangle is the hands are the opposite direction. So this is revolve triangle. Bring your top hand, your left hand down. We're coming into pyramid. So bring both hands on the block, usually in the number two position. A little half step forward, two lanes of traffic. Let the heels land. Lengthen out the back of that front leg. A little micro bend in the knee and let the heart float forward and down just a bit. So you get a good stretch there. Breathing with that. Bring the left knee right over the ankle. Turn the back toes in a full stride out to three o'clock, okay? And the option is to bring that block down on the inside of that left foot. We're gonna take extended side angle. Usually I cue that with the elbow on the knee option to bring your hand down so that the elbow is on the inside of the knee. Extended side angle with your hand a little lower. See if that's comfortable for you. If not, bring your elbow up on the knee. Engage the pelvic floor as you're exhaling here. One more breath. Come all the way to peaceful or reverse warrior. That left hand goes up, the right hand down. Q 
Keep the back kneecap up and breathe. Feel all that breathing into the low belly. Another breath. Float it out, warrior two. Only warrior two tonight. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Reverse or peaceful warrior. With the top hand, join the back hand, interlace the hand, draw them back and down, broaden across your collarbones. Use the exhale to engage the abdomen and fold into humble warrior. The hands come to the mat, the block can be set aside, and walk to the edge of your mat. We're gonna let our heels be nice and wide, our toes in just a bit. Let that tailbone rise up as you nod and let your head come into a bit of an inversion. The hands might crawl forward as the tailbone reaches back like a wide leg down dog. And then let the hands come underneath the gaze. Crawl them through the legs a bit. Nod your head yes and side to side. Bring the hands directly under the gaze and three quarters of your legs. Heel toe them back together till the toes are out and the heels are in. And come on up into your goddess squat. This time we'll do angel arms. So extend your arms, bring them down like you're sweeping those angel wings, those snow angel wings. Keep the hips a little on the low side and breathe with it. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Keep the knees apart as best as you're able. Two more. And again. Press through the heels, out through the hands. Heel toe out to that full straddle again. There we go. Press on the tops of the hips. Lengthen out. Bring yourself into that forward fold and walk to the top of your mat. Step that foot back to meet the other foot. Coming into your plank and taking your flow here. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale, we meet in down dog. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale, bring it between the hands. Take your block, put it right where that left hand would be, and take your extended, uh, sorry, your dragonfly twist here on the block. Feel the spine lengthening from the back of the heel, right through the crown. Bring the right hand down, push the feet apart, coming into your crescent lunge. When you're ready, drop the back heel, warrior one. Two lanes of traffic with the feet. Bring the hands to the hips. And draw that right hip back. Flatten out and let that hip slowly come down. Sorry, the heart come down until the left hand lands on the block. Lift the back heel and the right hand goes to the sky. Revolve triangle. Keep drawing that right kneecap back. Sorry, the right hip back. There we go. Then bring the right hand down. We're gonna bring our block up onto the number two side for our pyramid. A little half step with the back foot so that your feet are in two lanes of traffic about a three-quarter stride. Really pull the right hip back as the crown reaches forward. And slowly exhale as the heart comes down towards that knee, a micro bend in the knee. And then stepping back again as we're coming with our toes pointed out to nine o'clock. The right knee gets a bend, knee is right over the ankle. And you can place your hand on that block 
Some people might even want to place it down on the floor. Or you can bring your elbow to the knee. Extended side angle. Roll the heart open. Left hand up. And you may not have the same um, mobility on one side versus the other. So just honoring what's true for you. Now we're going to float up all the way. Peaceful warrior. Draw the back knee cap up. Keep the hips sunk just a bit. Engage the pelvic floor with exhale. Here comes our warrior two, one of my favorite postures. Can you feel that asana in you? Sometimes it's just helpful to take the asana as a whole. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Top hand meets the back hand. Lift the heart. Humble warrior, slowly folding. Let the hands release down to the mat. Come to the long edge of the mat. Heel toe the feet out to a full straddle. Walk both hands over to the back foot. Place your right hand on the left ankle, left hand on the hip, and slowly turn the heart towards that knee. Breathing with that. And then gently walk that rainbow over to the front foot. Left hand on the outside of that ankle, right hand on the hip. And take that deeper twist here, breathing with that. Both hands return to the mat, coming to the center of the mat, heel toe together for a three quarter stride. Weight in the heels and come on up into your goddess squat. We're going to take a few squats. So come up a little on the high side and then exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, rise a bit. Exhale, sink. Keep the glutes engaged. Exhale, sink. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. Three more. Two. One more. Push through the hands and the heels. And release. Come on out to a full straddle again. Hands on the outside of the hips. Grab them as your heart floats forward. Slide the hands down till they're below the knees. Then take a hold of your ankles or shins, bend the elbows, and draw the heart towards the earth as you lift your tailbone. Maybe draw the body a little bit to the right, to the left, as you slowly work it down, and then release the neck, nodding yes. Bring your hands right underneath your gaze and bring your knees down to the mat. We'll let our feet come out in front of us, okay? We'll take and bring our uh, right leg long. Left foot is right by the right knee. Draw your heart up towards the knee. Lift up through that right arm and bring that elbow over the knee and the other hand behind the body. Lift up to lengthen the spine and take a little rotation. And don't forget to draw the toes back on the right. Inhale, soften a bit. Exhale, twist. Releasing and coming through center. We'll bring both heels out. Plant your hands behind your hips. Press in. Squeeze the glutes up. Plank. lower the hips down and we'll take the other side and draw that right foot in next to the left knee heart up close lengthen up through that left arm as it comes over the knee the right hand behind the spine lifting and twisting inhale soften a bit exhale twist 
and releasing. We'll move into a little bit of our core practice now. So let your feet come out in front of you and take a block. So we'd like to work with the block here if we can. Option to leave your feet right there on the mat or you can crisscross the feet. Lift the heart and we're gonna do those genie twists with the exhale as you twist. <sighs> Inhale through the center, exhale into the twist. <sighs> Switch the feet. Two more. And release. Set your block aside. Put your feet down. Draw them back. Reach your hands forward and slowly push your spine out as you're unfolding it vertebrae by vertebrae onto the mat. Coming all the way down, we'll prepare for a bridge. Slide your heels behind your glutes. Your hands might grip the edge of your mat. Weight in the heels, spread the toes. Exhale, push the small of the back into the earth as you squeeze and raise the hips. Breathing into your bridge now. Lift the chin a bit. Let the heels and the shoulders push away from each other. Use the next exhale to lengthen the spine towards the heels. Slide your thumbs underneath the base of the sacrum. Bring the shins into tabletop. And then exhale as you push out at a 45, widen out in a horizontal scissor kick and bring it home. And again, inhale and tabletop, exhale, horizontal scissor kick. Three more, two, one, and release. We'll take another bridge. Plant your heels. Roll your shoulders under a little as you press the back of your head into the mat. In your time, we'll roll up into your bridge. Find a little bit of serenity here. Draw your knees towards each other. And then slowly lower back down. Thumbs underneath the sacrum, shins into tabletop. This time we're gonna sweep a smile. So push your feet out at 45, and then we're gonna sweep up to the right, down in the center, up to the left. So use your toes to make a smile. Keep the low back close to the earth. And breathe. Couple more each direction. One more. And bring your knees in. Make some circles with your knees, releasing any tension that might have built into the low back. Change directions if you'd like. And then press into your heels as you push up into a little bit of a bridge and slide your block underneath your hips for Viparini Karani, or legs up the wall. Our restorative posture, letting your heels float up and your arms release to the mat. You might let your heels drift apart in a bit of an inner thigh stretch. Slowing your breath and letting go of tension. When you're ready, letting your heels come back together. Bring your left knee in, let the right heel go long. Walk your hands up the back of that leg. And then switch. Bring the right knee in, the left heel goes long. And walk your hands up the back of that leg. 
You might notice how different it is compared to the beginning of practice. When you're ready, letting both heels land behind the block, bridging up to release the block. And then if you'd like a happy baby, slide your hands in between your thighs here. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Let the heels come up to the sky. You can also grab your ankles here and draw your back down towards the earth. All four corners there at the back. Rocking a little left to right. And then releasing the feet. Let the left leg go long. Right knee goes into the left hand. Draw it across the body. And take your gaze out with the right hand behind you. Big breath here. Exhale, letting go a little bit in the spine if you can. Releasing that right shoulder to the mat. And take your left hand underneath your right knee, bring it through center. We'll do it on the opposite side. Left knee comes into the right hand, draw it across the body, and kick it out in front of you. And let the left hand and the shoulder come to the mat behind you. Take a big breath in and soften into the twist. Most spinal twists involve more the thoracic spine. So if you have a little bit of tightness there, that's normal. Around the ribs kind of can keep some of that tight, but keep working with this, gently bringing yourself back to center and unfolding the body into Shavasana, our final resting posture. Let your arms and legs come a little bit away from the sides of the or the center of the body. Press the back of the head into the mat as you roll your shoulders under. Bend your hands, palms up in a gesture of acceptance. Take a large breath in and a slow, long exhale, blowing through the lips, softening the body. Repeating that if you'd like or returning to a native breath. Softening the brow, and then the eyebrows drift apart. Unhinging your jaw. Letting your shoulders be heavy. Your whole body heavy. The arms heavy from the shoulders to the elbows the wrists, the hands, the pelvic bowl, heavy on the earth, the legs from the hips to the knees, to the ankles and the toes, letting them be heavy, soft and warm. Bringing the attention over the heart and feeling the breath here. Sensing your intention to take care of your body, to take care of this vessel that holds your life. Giving your gifts to you this body. Resting with the breath now as it ebbs and flows, receiving and releasing. drifts away, just gently returning it, shepherding it back to the home base with a breath.
beginning to deepen your breath just a bit, lengthening out through the body. Perhaps taking a stretch or continuing in stillness, whatever works for you. When you're ready, drawing your knees in towards your chest, comforting the low back. Taking your time and finding your way into a seated posture. If you'd like to join me in closing our practice time together. Thank you friends for joining me for a week practice of yoga. May you continue to grow this practice in your life, bringing you a little strength, length, flexibility, peace, serenity. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Namaste. Thank you, friends. Always so good to practice with you. I hope you enjoyed all that twisting and bending that we did today with the spine. I hope it was effective for you or you found your way through practice. Always love hearing from you on chat or, of course, an email. You have a great and beautiful week. Om Shanti.